Okay, welcome back to part two of this screwdriver video in Onzel Engineering Suite. So, last time, just kind of a recap, we made, let's see if we can actually go through, we made this sketch, you know, added the fillets, added the, the radius here, and all the fun stuff, and then we did not fully constrain right here. You could if you wanted to, but this part doesn't necessarily need to be fully constrained. And then we went ahead and did the revolution. And now we are left with this. And the only thing left now is to cut the, the tip and then the grips. Now the grips are a little bit tricky, but there's a couple ways of doing it. So I'll show you the easiest way possible. I don't want to say possible, but just what I find to be the easier way. So let's go ahead and make this drawing here. So for those coming from SolidWorks, you guys and I were used to making a profile like so with lines and then doing an extrude cut where it makes this plane that cuts through. In Onzel Engineering Suite, we have to do things a little bit different and I'll show you what that is. It's not that hard. So, um, and I'll tell you why we have to do what we have to do. So let's look at this. It's zero point 0.025, 7 degrees from the center. Okay, not bad. So, let's get into the front view. Go ahead and move these arrows right here so we can see. And then we're going to create a new sketch. We're going to zoom out just a little bit, click on the XZ plane, that's what we want. And geometry line or GL is what that means. We're going to click the vertex here. Actually we're not. We're going to click above it and then I'm going to go just one inch Then I'm going to hit tab and we're going to do seven degrees and hit enter. I'm giving myself one inch so that it's it has room to be on the outside of the part because this part is going to be important for that extra length. Okay so next we're going to dimension from right here and it's 0 0.025 inches so there we go we have a fully constrained line now what we're going to do is click the line and we're going to kind of mirror it in Onzel it's not called mirroring it's called symmetry but it's this picture right here you're going to click it and then you're going to hover over the axis and you're going to click once now notice you lose your constraints that's okay everything's still in the same spot However, we can dimension, if we want to, um, hit enter, and we don't care about the length, so um, moving that around, we actually do care about the angle, so I mean, we could, if we wanted to, you know, seven degrees, hit enter. And that way, at least it's glued in those two dimensions. But it actually doesn't matter when it comes to cutting. Okay, so now the last thing is geometry line, and we need to connect them right here. Okay, so this is where things get a little interesting. Now, remember I said with Onzel, in a body, you can only have one solid. If I were to try to extrude cut this right now, we'd be left with these two pieces leaving us with a total of one two three and it does not like that so in order to have it delete these things it needs to be enveloped within our cutting plane it has not been there's a future request hopefully that when this goes uh, this plane cuts through that it you know you could pick above the line or below the line to keep or delete things so we're going to do lines just draw them however you want we just need to connect things up so we have a closed shape go ahead and close and then we're gonna pocket and we're gonna just kinda spin this so we can kinda see what we're dealing with and you can kinda see it already and we're gonna do there's two ways we could do symmetric to plane and it cuts it all the way through with that length or if we didn't want to do that you could do through all then symmetric to plane anyway um, but I'm just going to do dimension symmetric 
to plane and that should be good and then we're going to hit OK. So now we have the tip all done. Next let's go ahead and click on the right. I'm going to click right here on that face and we're going to make a sketch. And we're going to draw one of these boxes, make a cut, and then mirror that cut all the way around. You could use the symmetrical tool to make all four boxes and do one cut at once, but to constrain everything it's a little tricky. It's easier just to constrain one and then mirror the feature at the end. Okay, so click on this face, click create a new sketch, zoom in a little bit, um, G, R for rectangle, and we're just going to make rectangle like so. And what are our dimensions from the dot? Okay, 0.275 from the bottom line up. So get our dimension tool, bottom line. I uh, doesn't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to do from the vertex up to the bottom line. There we go. And it was 0 0.275. Drops that down. Honestly, that's all we need. As long as this bottom line is, it doesn't matter how, um, as long as it is past each point and that this is in the correct spot, we're good. So I'm just going to hit close. Then we're going to pocket and we're going to do through all and it should miss everything here and then we're going to hit OK and then what we're going to do is click pocket that's the last thing that we did and we're going to do polar pattern and we're going to do occurrences of four and then go back up and it should automatically be on the red axis if not you need to change that and we're going to hit OK and there we go. Everything has been completed now. All that's left is to grab our chamfer tool. Which one is chamfer? I always forget. I'm just going to click a face. Okay. I'm going to hit. Nope, I want fill it. And then we can start selecting. Whoops, multiple faces. And we're just going to go all the way around. Ah, come on. Sometimes in 3D view it's a little tricky to get what you, what you need. Okay. And the radius. I don't know what the chamfer radius is. Let's look. I mean the fillet radius. I think it's 0 0.05. So 0 0.05 inches and hit OK and there we go and that is the finished product everything has now been filleted looks great and we have a working part so if you wanted to you could export that just click the very last operation which should highlight everything and go to file export and you can export it as a step you could export it as an STL however you want to do it and you could even 3d print it it's kind of cool. Anyways, so that's the final product. So thank you for watching. And I hope you learned some useful information. The next video will be kind of a cool part. And I'll go a little bit slower on the next part and kind of go over a little bit more discussion of the tools. So it'll be quite a bit lengthier. Anyway, enjoy and have a good evening.